I've been doing a lot of research these past few days on this guy called Dr. Mike. His channel is called the Renaissance Periodization Channel, I guess. I binge a lot of his stuff, man. He basically is a bodybuilder, I'm assuming. And I'm pretty sure he's a doctor because his name is Dr. Mike something. Come to find out, he actually has an app that you can use to help you diet. Now, I'm the guy that spends money on useless stuff. The app is actually $19. It's called the RP Diet app. We paid the $19. Let's open the app and see what's up. RP Diet app, right? So let's get started. Now, I just got to put in my information. Oh, so the thing is with this app, you can only put in 350 pounds. I mean, we're basically there. I'm 5'11". I'm age 34 and my body fat percentage is over 30, obviously. And let's continue. Continue. Choose a diet. Fat loss. Continue. Choose a diet goal. What does choose a diet goal mean? When choosing your diet goal, make sure to choose the goal that is the most likely to give you success. Most of our diet users will click on the highest success box and that will set them up well. However, if you know yourself to do better with slow and steady, please pick that one as well. There is no rush. Now, I need to know myself, right? I need to know if highest success, lose 18 pounds in eight weeks or lose 21 pounds in 12 weeks. So lose 18 pounds in eight weeks. Choose this option to maximize your chances of success based on established diet theory and our own research. Slow and steady. Lose 21 pounds in 12 weeks. Many people can increase their chances of success with a less rapid schedule. If you've struggled with rapid diets in the past, try this option. Is that really rapid? 18 pounds in, in eight weeks? Mm. <laughs> so indecisive i like the slow and steady but i like the highest success i don't know let's go let's go with 18 pounds in eight weeks i, I think at my weight that should be fine let's do it continue all right we're going to start today on the 26th target weight will be 332 and the diet will end sunday november 24th all right continue when do you sleep now my schedule is basically all over the place it changes throughout the week and i'm basically just going to use the 6 a.m to 10 p.m. because I, I I do sleep around 10 p.m. So we're just gonna keep everything the same. So we're gonna say hey continue. When do you weight train? Okay, we've been doing the kettlebell program three days out of the week. Typically, I try to do the kettlebell program Monday, Thursday, Saturday. We will choose Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. I guess you could say the intensity is moderate. Use a shake. I don't think I don't think I want to use a shake. We're just gonna keep that simple. See what see what happens. Right. Continue. When can't you eat meals? Now here's the thing. I'm fasting, so I don't know how to make like I don't know how to wrap this around a fasting thing. That's why I think I might end the fast if I do this it's too hard like add a busy period let's do 8 a.m to 2 p.m let's do that Monday through Sunday okay 8 p.m to 2 p.m I cannot eat okay great because that's when I break my fast what are your activity levels I already put this in I walk between 7,000 steps and 14,000 steps all right continue how many meals Let's go four for now. Let's go four and see if they can give me these meals. Continue. Choose weigh-in time. Yo, I weigh in every day, bro. It's calculating. $19. What are you going to give me, baby? Bruh. It wants me to get 260 grams of protein a day, bro. 90 grams of fat. 465 carbs. Yo. Homie, that's a lot. $20 to tell me that I got to eat 465 grams of carbs. Each meal, I have to get 65 grams of protein. 30 fat and 100 carbs. If I switch my steps, will will it change my diet? It gives me less carbs, but it's not giving me less protein. So it's keeping my protein the same. All right, we're going to leave it here and see what happens. Let's start the diet. I mean, this is crazy. My blood sugar would be through the roof. We finished our fast right now. I'm going to attempt to eat what is telling me to eat today. And if I can't do it, we might have to cancel this. Our blood sugar after we broke our fast is at 90. Let's try to get this food. Okay. All right. So let's click. I guess you can't click on meal one. So we're basically just going to click um, meal two. It says add foods, right? Let's go to add foods. All right. So step one, click your protein. So let's add some protein. And we got some egg whites. Let's, let's add some egg whites. It's got different things and pictures of like the food that you can eat. Um, let's try whole eggs. I'm going to have some eggs. All right. Let's, let's hit add and see what happens. 
I just tell me how much I can have of each thing. I can just adjust it if I want to. We got two eggs. We need 16.9 ounces. Let me get this go. Bro, this the whole container. I got 16 in me. That's a pound. It's the whole thing. I only got a pound. I guess the pound is 16. What the heck? Bro, I gotta eat all this egg whites. So oh, I didn't even know 16 ounces was a pound. Uh... All right, let me wash my hands real quick. We're gonna use some cooking spray. This is zero calories. It's not gonna affect anything, right? Two eggs. I'm gonna add all this freaking egg whites. Oh my God, that's so much, dude. Can I put some pe- I'm putting some pepper on this, man. At least some pepper. I'm not, I'm not gonna use any salt because I don't know if I can use salt. We're gonna have some oats. 4.8 ounces gives me that. 4.8 ounces gives me 100 carbs. All right, this is what we have, man. We have egg whites with two eggs, and then we have oatmeal. To reach the rest of my fat, we have 0.9 ounces of butter. This is the first meal of this freaking program. All this together is 65 grams of protein, 30 grams of fat, and 100 grams of carbs. Ugh. I don't even know how many calories this is. Why doesn't the app tell me how many calories I'm eating right now? Obviously, I could have made this a little bit better, but I was just trying to hit the macros. Oh my God. I can't finish that. I finished the protein, but I can't finish this, man. That's way too much. I failed on the first meal. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna gain like 20 pounds after this. Meal number two, we have squash, some sirloin steak, some lentils on top, and some rice. All this together is 65 grams of protein, 15 grams of fat, and 165 grams of carbs. As you can tell, I didn't get to finish the last meal. Two hours after we got done, my blood sugar was at 112, which is surprising. Guys, I don't know if I can finish this, man. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is way too much food. This is too much. This is the second meal, and I have two more to go. Uh, how do you force all this food down? It's, it's impossible. I'm tired. I can't do it. Second meal, I cannot finish. Oh my God. Oh, we're gonna gain like six pounds tonight. Like how many calories is this? I feel like I just ate like 5,000 calories in two meals. Look at the belly. It's so full. I haven't been this full in forever. I'm gaining like five pounds. It's over. I paid $19 for this app. This is... I think like 45 grams of protein. I can't eat another meal. It is, it's literally 8.55. This is my last meal, man. This is about like 45 grams of protein. Let me know your thoughts. I don't think I hit over 2,500 calories today. That's the only thing I don't like about the app. It just doesn't show you the calories and I would like to know the calories and how much I'm eating. If you're intermittent fasting, there's no way you can get all this food. But we did hit all of our goals today. We did fast for 16 hours. We ate under 2,500 calories calories, which I still feel like I'm a well right now. There's no way. And we walked 10,000 steps. I'm just saying, even though we failed something today, it's still a win.